Natalie and we're here with Ryan in the data and analytics section at Next. Ryan, tell us about what we're doing in real-time analytics. Yeah, so within real-time analytics, what we're really trying to do here is we've got a supply chain use case, and what we're trying to illustrate is the ability to take external and internal data sources, combine those together in real time, and get a better understanding of the environment that we have happening there. So in this case, what we have is we have some trucks that have started their routes, and those will then turn to ships and then ships back to trucks as they reach land on the other side. But what we're trying to do here is to assess, based on the route that they're taking, can we bring in weather data? Can we bring in then just also global news data and be able to actually get to a point where we can put a risk score on that route to say, hey, based on some port unrest that happens, maybe there's a strike that's happening, maybe some social unrest, mm -hmm. or even it could be something that's just as simple as like, hey, there's a hurricane that's dropping here. Yeah. Let's make sure that we can understand that, assess the real risk. Real time information. Real time, that's exactly it. And then reroute that in real time as well. So in this given example, right now, it looks like our potential risk, we're actually in a good spot right now. Let's give them some bad weather. Yeah. yeah let's give them some let's bad weather. Um, and let's, let's give them some really bad weather. So Ooh. we'll make it a high alert as well. So we'll add that in. And what that's going to do is essentially inject this piece of data mm -hmm. into the rest of the data feed that the, that the model is naturally taking in. And mm -hmm. it's going to inject this in and then have this bad weather present within that model. Got it. So we've added that in and we can see that oh, there's an alert for yeah. the person who's managing this to say, hey, we've got some bad weather. As a result, we've seen immediately that risk right there change from a potential risk all the way up, spike up to 89%. And so what that means is that it's likely time for us to take a look to see whether or not we can reroute this uh, shipment. Mm -hmm. But what's nice is with Google's platform, the serverless nature of it and then also the integrated nature of it means that whether this is three trucks, four trucks, or 4,000 trucks, 40,000 trucks, Google can scale up to be able to deliver the solution that you need yeah. to be able to. Amazing. I think it's, it's pretty important to show just how dynamic businesses can be in terms of being able to make decisions on the spot with all different types of variables. So really great um, example. Absolutely. And I think that particularly when you're looking to make those decisions on the spot, doing it in real time and then bringing in, as you said, all of those other variables, mm. that external data, there's so much value in that that's outside of people's businesses where they typically think to look to find um, information and data and analytics to better inform them. Think about bringing in external data sources yes. as well. That's, there's a lot of value in that. Awesome. So, Ryan, what's next in supply chain? Well, in, in terms of supply chain, and then I'd say in terms of real-time analytics at Google in yes. general, we're looking to just make our services faster, mm -hmm. easier, and more integrated. And every step that we take is about giving our customers more choice in terms of the languages that they use, the different products that they use, and then also just to ensure that they've got the ability to do what they want with their data, to get to those results oh. that are very specific to their businesses. Right. Well, that sounds pretty exciting. If uh, our viewers want to learn more about this space, where should they go? Um, cloud.google.com slash solutions is going to be the best place to go to. I encourage everyone to figure out um, how to get to that real-time analytics piece uh -huh. of that in particular. But there's a wealth of great solutions in there that you can read up on. Okay. Well, thanks so much for the demo. All I right. loved it. Uh, good stuff. <laughs> thanks. See you later.